kiss is a symbol of love but judas the disciple of jesus christ used it to betray him judas heart was far away from jesus are we staying close to god's heart let's listen dear friends today i want to talk to you about the kiss of judas When Jesus was on this earth he chose 12 disciples but one of his disciples he betrayed Jesus Christ but do you know how he betrayed the bible says in Matthew 26:49 that he came up to Jesus once and said greetings rabbi and he kissed him Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss Judas was with Jesus 3 and 1/2 years And he traveled with him he witnessed all the miracles he ate with him he slept with him yet at one point of time he didn't get what he expected he expected something more from jesus maybe he expected jesus to rule over israel as a king but jesus definition of king and rulership and kingdom was entirely different jesus was speaking about the religion of heart Jesus was more concerned about inward religion. But Judas was expecting something spectacular outward. He wanted Jesus to lead Israel from the bondage of Rome Romans. But I wonder why he would betray Jesus with a kiss. He could have shown him or maybe he could have bet him that that would be far better. He confided with Jesus enemies, you know, people were f- trying to find fault with Jesus and uh, the spiritual leadership of those days they want to arrest Jesus and kill him and Judas gave them an opportunity he could have deserted his master he would he could have said i do not need jesus i will not follow him even we read in the bible that many did not follow jesus once they were following him but as they were hearing jesus more about self denial and uh, repentance many did not follow they even told that this teaching is very hard and they did not follow him judas could have stopped following jesus christ rather he took a different route we were once in uh, in a cold country and every day morning it would be very cold we had a heater in the room but we could not take bath in a very hot water it was very hot at one side on the other side when the water would be very chill the best thing would be is to mix the hot water with the cold water when we mix these two waters we get a water which is so soothing so comfortable you know this compromise of hot and cold will result in a compromised or so to say a comfortable christianity jesus calls us either to be hot or to be cold we see god the holy spirit say to the ladician church in revelation 3rd chapter 16th verse so because you're lukewarm and neither hot or cold i will spit you out of my mouth jesus hates this middle ground we should be either hot or we should be either cold we should follow jesus wholeheartedly a half hearted commitment is no good that was what uh, you know judas was uh, doing he was with jesus he was saying that i love you lord i praise you lord he was going to church in a colloquial terms like many of us we go to church we do all the things but our heart is not truly committed to god that's what god says in isaiah 29:13 because this people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips while their hearts are far from me my beloved is your heart near to god's heart is your commitment total is your surrender complete i committed as a missionary and went to a northern state and there was a senior missionary waiting for me and she prayed for me in this fashion she used this words lord make his commitment grow deeper and deeper now i couldn't understand those 
phrases at that point of time. But later I realized that I need to grow in my commitment. How can I grow in my commitment? It is not growing upper and upper. It is coming down and down. It is growing deeper and deeper. It is emptying ourselves more, more and more. It is denying ourselves more and more. Just like Apostle Paul told, it's not about me. It's not I, it is Christ. I must be erased. Christ must be in all. This is the biblical Christianity. The kiss of Judas would have been more painful to God than the beatings of Romans. The Romans bet the Lord Jesus Christ. But I believe the kisses of Judas would have been more painful. My beloved, the pain is more when people close to us hurt us. When a person in the streets insults us, it doesn't pain us more. We read again in Malachi 1st chapter 6 verse, If then I am a father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my fear? Many of us treat God like a watchman sometimes. We expect him to protect our property, our children. Praying to God for protection is okay. But how we seen him as a king? Many consider him to be a slave, doing our bidding. When we would ask him, he should do it. If we pray today, tomorrow there must be an answer. He is not our servant. We must submit to his desire. We must submit to his will. We must submit to his rulership. Our full heart should be committed to him. Once there was a teacher of the law. He came to Jesus and asked, What is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus very clearly told that, You shall love your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. Notice the stress on all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Our commitment to God should be total and final. Nothing can come between me and God. Everything that comes between you and God is an idol. You should throw that off from your life. It can be a relation. It can be a habit. It can be a profession. Nothing matters more than Jesus Christ. Let us not love our God with a kiss of Judas. But let us love the Lord with all our heart. Keeping in mind that he gave his life for us. The only thing I can do is submit my entire being, entire will into his hands and ask him to lead him. Shall we pray? Loving Lord, thank you for this beautiful time. Thank you for all the people who heard this message. We commit once again, O oh Lord, that we are your servant and slaves. We commit to do your bidding. We commit to hear your voice. It's not our desires that count. It's not our will that counts. It is your desire that counts. It is your will that counts. You have given us everything. We commit our life in your hands. In Jesus' precious name as this prayer. Amen. We encourage you to continue hearing this series. For regular updates, subscribe at www.bymonline.org. God bless you.